Hey guys, Eileen here from Homegrown Happiness. Um, welcome to June's Garden Update. So we've had winter solstice pass now, which is the shortest day of the year, and that was on the 21st. So now it feels like spring is going to be just around the corner, despite only really being at the beginning of winter. That's because next month in July I'm going to be looking at what summer seeds I want to plant and go through all the catalogues and order anything new. And then in August, which is the last month of winter in New Zealand, early August is when I start off my eggplants and tomatoes and chilies and all the nightshades. But in this video I'm going to show you what's happening in the garden at the moment. I'm still waiting on my yams. We've been harvesting like a few at a time but the majority are still in the ground. Um, the ones that we have been harvesting have really come from the pots that I had them in because the ones in the ground the foliage is dying back but not quite. I don't want to be too rushed with um, harvesting these yams because they really do fatten up right at the end of the growing season so I want to see um, I want to make sure that I can harvest them when they're as big as possible. So just if you didn't know, these are New Zealand yams which are also known as ochre. I am keeping an eye on them though because if they do start to get eaten by things or if that area down there gets too wet and they start to rot then I'll be harvesting them. And down here in this section I've also got some potatoes growing so I didn't really plant these on purpose more. I threw away all the potatoes that were starting to go green I just chucked them out because my kitchen's very close to there, so I throw them down there, and they started sprouting, so I've just left them, and that's um, quite nice to have some smaller potatoes to harvest during the winter. We don't get many frosts, and you can see here, this one has a bit of frost damage, but in general, the greens are standing pretty strong still. I've got broad beans here too, which will be nice to have in spring. And so coming over here you can see the ground is still pretty wet. We had a really light frost in the morning that this was filmed. But the sun just doesn't really reach that area to dry it out so it just stays wet like that all day. I planted some garlic last month as well which I didn't put in last month's video but it's just popped up and it's just here. Here are some of the yams that are in pots. Um, it's actually the last pot remaining, the rest have all been harvested. And then here are the brassicas, along with some curly endive and some peas. And here is a pot of fennel seedlings. Just chucked a whole lot of seeds in there and once they're a bit bigger then I'm going to start spacing them out in the garden. Now coming over to my favourite winter garden because it's the one that gets sun. So if you're new here, this is a piece of front lawn that I converted into a no-dig patch last year May, so just over a year ago, and it's just fantastic because it actually gets some winter sun, which my top main vegetable garden, well, it was my main vegetable garden, didn't get at all. And so this garden is filled with lots of brassicas and mustard and endive. And here's some more garlic. And some daikon radish. See, and here's one of the broccolis growing in this garden. And unlike uh, the broccoli that grows up in the top garden, which you'll see later on in the video, this broccoli actually looks semi-normal. And it's starting to grow ahead without shooting up to the sky like broccoli without sun does. Okay, and then coming up and following the chickens up to my middle garden. This used to be fenced off completely, but I've just taken the fences down, so the chickens are getting in there a little bit, but um, just eating the things like the tops of the beetroot and some of the silver beet that's down there. So this garden is also filled with winter staples that were planted really early, so that they were a big size by the time the winter sun hours dropped. It's got leeks and parsnips and beetroot and carrot. And some swedes and then lots of greens like silver beet. And in between the silver beet and the swedes here, I have actually planted some more garlic as well. And here are some more self-seeded potatoes. Now coming up to the top garden, so as you can see this little dribble of sunshine 
that's all it gets. Um, it's probably about 11.30 when I'm filming it in the morning, but it's all good because I'm so on top of planting things now that um, I can manage that. Here's some mizuna that I just let um, go to seed and just self seed all over the garden because in spring um, those greens are going to be great. So my Brussels sprouts aren't huge but um, they are there considering it's a shady garden I think that's pretty cool. So I start those in mid spring and get them big enough so that it, when it's to the, at this stage they are producing. Here is my yakon. So my yakon I either harvest all at once um, and then I'll make a yakon syrup or I harvest it bit by bit and we just eat it fresh and um, like grated in salads and stuff and that's what I'm going to be doing this year. Yeah. So yakon are these big juicy tubers, really nice, a bit like celery and apple in taste. So the plant itself has like two tubers growing. The brown one is the one you eat and then the purple is the one that you would plant. So as you can see here this tuber has the eyes coming out of it which is where the plant would sprout from. If your area isn't too cold they can just stay in the ground which is what I'm going to do. Um, just cover them with mulch. See here is my broccoli without the sun. Nice and tall looking for the light. And I cut down my asparagus, so all the brown ferns, I uh, cut those down because they weren't feeding the roots anymore and a few new ones have shot up, but in general it's nicely mulched and I added a nice new layer of compost on there as well. Now even though it's cold and there's not much sun, I'm still planting out seedlings because anything planted now will grow spring and um, like mid-spring when usually the gardens are pretty empty because they're all waiting for our summer things to grow. So it's a good idea to get things planted now even though it's slow and they look like they're not doing anything. So I've got lots of greens that I've planted out, some silver beet, some more brassicas like broccoli and kale. It's that little bit of planning ahead now that will pay off in the future. So next month I'm looking forward to planning what I'm going to be planting in summer, see if I want to try anything new or if for once I might just stick to the basics and just plant a lot of what we actually like to eat. I'm not sure, I always like um, looking through the seed catalogues and buying way too many seeds. But then you join seed swap groups and swap and that's nice to share. What are you doing in your garden at the moment? Let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.